All right, guys, uh, you're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. Uh, right here with me is a, a House of Rev investigative hearing on NDDC scandal. And uh, I want you guys to watch the moment that uh, Professor Ponde actually goofed real time. The man is a professor and is the most learned of everybody in this um, House of Rev committee. Uh, so, but they ask him a question and he goofed big time and this has put Gosul Akbabio in a very big trouble. In fact, Gosul Akbabio have entered one chance because the 1.5 or 1.3 billion that was only appropriated for COVID-19 palliative, you get in the 2019 budget, this man could not actually account for it you get because it wasn't it wasn't captured in the budget who gave him the right to spend that money so i want you to watch the moment after they finish eating money like this they will they can't uh, you know actually defend uh the budget they can't defend themselves so i want you guys to watch the moment that professor ponde before he actually slumped because he slumped i'm going to show you the video for those of you who have not watched it he actually slumped so um Watch the video and see the moment he couldn't answer the question and what actually caused him to slump. That the 1.5 billion, 1.5 billion COVID-19 palliative you took. It was not 1.5 billion, please. The figure is shown clearly. Tell us, tell us the figure. It's 1.32. 1 1.32. 1 yes. Billion, billion, yes. 1.32 billion. Yes. Now the question the honourable man, the honourable house member is asking you. Yeah. Where did you have a the budget line in 2019 where you derived that power to spend that money? That's the I, question. I, I, I will provide that answer for you. I will check. I don't want to lie on that oath. I will provide the answer for you. Uh, MD. <laughs> MD. MD. Yes, sir. I know you are a very learned person. You are one of the most learned person in this room. You don't, you don't have answer for it now. Okay. It means you spent money. Can you agree with us? Will it be right for us to say that you did extra budgeted expenses, which was not budgeted for? Uh, I will not say so. Um, let me ask my EDP to explain, because I don't want to... I think he has more facts concerning that. Is he under oath? Okay, it's not under oath. No. That's why I said I will provide the answer. I said I will provide the answer. Now, uh, MD, you have the budget with you. The budget of 2019, you have it with you. Correct. MD, 2019 budget, in which you have told this committee that you, is the budget you are operating on. You have it. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I said I will provide the answer to you. <laughs> no. You have the budget with you. In front of me, yes, sir. The budget. The budget you are operating. 2019 budget. I will provide the answer, Mr. Chairman, sir. No. We'll bring this to you, sir. Ah! We'll bring this to you. It will be sent to your committee. MD. MD. Mr. Chairman, sir. MD. Mr. Chairman, sir. The budget of 2019. You tendered it. Yeah. I tendered the... You tendered the budget of 2019? Yeah. I give the letter from... That is not the budget. That's not the budget we signed. The budget we signed for you in 2019, you have it here. Okay, they said they have gone to make copies. I said huh? we'll provide this to you. Okay, yes, you, don't, you don't have the budget here. Yes, I don't have it here. You don't have the budget I here. I don't have it here. It will be provided to you. But I don't know if other people will... 
Mr. Chairman, sir. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, sir. Please. Mr. Chairman. My leaders and colleagues. Uh, Mr. Chairman, with your permission, may I request that uh, the clerk of the Secretariat furnishes this gentleman a copy of the budget we have put for him. If you, if you are not harmed, because I've read the letter given to you, you will have various documents that you are asked to furnish this committee. So if you don't have the budget here, our, we have a committee on library and research. The clerk, please get us a copy of the 2019 approved budget for this, for the, for the. So guys, you notice there that uh, Professor Ponde actually fucked up big time. And because he could not uh, answer it, Akbabi is going to be uh, interviewed just after Professor Ponde is going to be interviewed and um, we are looking at how are they going to reconcile the differences if Professor Ponde could not answer it and Goswil Akbabi himself who is the minister of NEDC he has denied knowledge and in fact he have just absolved himself of any problem in the NDDC, all the whole of the scandal he has absolved himself if not for uh, Joy Nunia, the former MD who was removed by Akbabio according to her because he did not comply with Akbabio's um, uh, directive to actually uh, loot with him so Akbabio had her removed and then um, she actually testified before the Senate and before she did that uh, effort to actually block her from testifying were really you know um were launched at her if not that goes i mean um um the governor of river states in years on week actually rescued her probably the woman would have been abducted and nobody would have known what actually became of her so what we are saying here is that a lot of heads are going to roll and we are going to watch out and see what you know this will become are they going to sweep this investigative hearing under the carpet recently uh, Professor Ponde, that was last week, he staged a workout on the House of Reps Committee on Investigative Hearing on the NDDC scandal. He staged a workout because he, according to him, he said the chairman of the committee is a party in the fraud. You get that's according to him. And when he came, they asked him, he said he was not prepared for the presentation and all of that. So, well, uh, that actually leaves everybody asking, what the hell is going on? Why is it that when they eat money like this, they cannot account for it? They are not prepared to answer questions you get. They don't want to even, I mean, account. These are public servants. Public servants entrusted with the duty of actually uh, uh, ensuring accountability, you know. But these guys are just there looting. They call it national cake. You get this time around. They are even looting the national cake that is meant for everybody, but they are looting it for themselves. So I want you guys to uh, watch the moment Professor Ponde actually slumped. A lot of people have the opinion that this is not real. There are reactions. I'm going to play another video. I'll do another video where Nigerians are actually reacting to this. Is this a drama? Did they stage it? Or did they have a, a health problem before this? But people say if he had a health problem before, the why didn't he indicate? And again, he, he was the one who moved in here by himself. He wasn't brought on a stretcher, you get me? And they didn't see the doctor's report before this time out. So what the hell is going on? So I want you guys to um, drop your comment. I'm going to play the footage now where you hear the main sound and the video. You get me? And then we'll be back. Our operating is the 2019 budget, which as you know and as we know, ended May 31st, 2020. We are now in July, so you are not expected to be spending money from budget 2019 that has expired. From where are you going to spend this money you said here on oath that you are preparing to pay students who are on scholarship? Are you aware that every expenditure you make from 31st May till date are not... Uh, are not excuse me what is not Ha, ha, ha. 